Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to begin building your first mind map in Mind Manager for Mac. First we're going to look at adding content, so we're going to look at adding topics. As a general rule of thumb, if you're looking to add topics, you'll be looking to the return key. If you're trying to create a sibling topic, that is a topic on the same level that you're currently working on, you simply hit return and as you'll see here, it creates more topics on the same level. If, however, I wanted to create topics on a lower level, or what we might call a subtopic, then I have to hit Command and Return. So if I hold Command and hit Return, you'll see I can build outwards. I also have the option to use the toolbar buttons at the top here, so if I come up here and click Home, you'll see I have the option to add a new topic, so that again, that's a topic on the same level that we're currently working on, or a new subtopic on a lower level. Finally, you also have the option to use the little plus icons around the edges of your topic. So you'll see this little plus symbol at the bottom here. If I click that, it'll give me a topic below the one I'm currently working on. If I click the one above, it'll give me a topic on the same level but above. And if I click this one on the edge here, it'll give me another subtopic. So three different ways to add content to your Mind Manager maps. Now, as soon as you've created that topic, you'll immediately begin to be able to begin typing. So for example, you can see this one's got this little blue board around it. And so I can type, this is some text. And if I want to edit that, I simply double click within it and you'll see my cursors here and I can take out words like is in case I wanted to. To delete topics, as you'd probably imagine, you simply click on the topic you wish to delete and hit the backspace key. So again, we're still highlighting this one here and if I hit backspace, it deletes it. Equally, if you delete a parent topic that has topics beneath it, it'll delete all of that. So if I hit backspace now, you'll see it gets rid of all of it. To move topics around, you simply click and drag. So if I click on this one, I can pull it around and you'll see it shows me where it's gonna reattach, if at all. So we're gonna leave where it is for the time being. If I wanted to achieve the same effect with multiple topics, I can click and drag to create a little highlighting box and you'll see it's highlighted everything within that. And again, I can then move all three topics in one go. So for example, we can relocate them up here. You can also hold command to click and select individual multiple topics if that makes any sense. So you'll see I'm selecting multiple topics from different places. Or alternatively, to select multiple topics within the same branch, you can click on the one at the top here, the one at the bottom, and if you hold shift and click here, you'll see it selects everything in between as well. Finally, you also have the option to hide information that's not relevant to you at a particular moment in time by clicking on this little minus icon here. So if I click that, you'll see it just hides away those three subtopics, and it gives me a little three here to show that there are three further topics within this branch. And then if I click that again, it reinstates them. Hopefully that's given you everything you need to get started using Mind Manager for Mac. For more Mind Manager templates, tutorials and training, visit biggerplate.com.